Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we have a summer limited edition from Izzy Miyake to review. It is their new Load Izzy by Kevin Lubert, summer 2022 limited edition. So I'm gonna be letting you know what this smells like, how it differs from the original and give you my review and first impressions. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this, going through different new releases and whole range Ranges, so do check them out and I also have my blog where I have an article going through every version of Load Izzy. There's been like over 20 I think so do check that out as well and if you're a regular um, viewer then do check to see if you're subscribed, turn on notifications so you don't miss a new video and you can sign up to my newsletter down below in the description box along with where I'll put a link to where you can buy this new perfume in UK, Europe, North America, Australia as and where it's available and I'll also put the link to where you can pre-order my fragrance that I'm releasing later this year. There's just a few days left for you to do that. Cool, so the Load Izzy range from Izzy Miyake are beautiful, fresh, oceanic, watery fragrances that are very good for lasting. And they're so unique in that there are very, very few fresh fragrances that actually last. Both the men's and the women's are insanely good for lasting. I've known people that've worn them and it's their signature scent. You can smell them when they've been in a room, they've left, you can still smell the scent. So they are great perfumes. And most years they release a limited edition summer one. There's been so many different ones and they usually have quite unique bottles. So this year it's in this um, signature pyramid cone shape and we've got some design on it but it's mainly see-through. And then the bottle as well has a little bit of sort of drawings on it but um, it's quite sort of calming and white and transparent vibes. So what does it smell like? So there is definitely the DNA of Load Izzy in here, that aquatic-y wateriness. There's also a fair amount of new roll so it's quite lemony. There's a bergamot note, I get the new roll like that green lemoniness. But as it starts to settle, what you then get is some tropical frangipani notes, some orange blossom and some coconut milk. So it settles to become a real frangipani coconut scent. Whereas when it starts, it's this watery neroli scent. So it's really one of those perfumes that transforms and changes as it develops. Some perfumes smell the same from when you first spray them to the end. This is definitely one of those changing ones. It's like magic. It is a coconut milk rather than a coconut. So it's not that deep, heavy, sweet coconut like an Ariana Grande cloud or a Dolce Garden. Instead, it's like a refreshing, as if you're getting it, you know, those drinks you can buy with coconut milk water in. It's more like that. And then frangipani is a tropical flower. It smells very tropical. There's some orange blossom supporting it. And there's they've included a driftwood note, which again gives that kind of tropical island, Pirates of the Caribbean vibe. And then all the way through, I still get a slight nod towards the original oceanic airiness of Lode de Izzy. It is an Eau de Toilette, and I think comparing this to the original Lode de Izzy, Eau de Toilette, it is lighter. It's definitely not heavy scent. I would say if you love the original, you will like this. And I think if you still want the strength of the original, I'd recommend wearing the original and then layering this on top to add those frangipani notes, the neroli, the coconut milk. So for the summer, you could layer this on top. Or if you like Load Izzy but want something much lighter for the summer, then wear it on its own. But it's not gonna be one of those perfumes that lasts, you know, six, seven, eight hours like the original one. But it does have lasting power, but it's much more delicate and lighter and aimed at, you know, for hot weather, I think. If you like coconut, then I think you'd like this, but coconut isn't the star of the show. For me, the frangipani is coming through a bit more with the orange blossom. So it's more of just like a rounded, nice summer scent. I don't think it's overly unique, but it is nice and it smells like quality. For me, I would definitely layer this on top of the original to get the lasting power, but I know that a lot of you live in really hot countries and you don't want that strength, so this might be ideal. It's definitely got a calming tropical vibe to it. I feel like I'm sort of sat 
you know, having breakfast on the beach on an island, you know, with driftwood coming in and frangipani flowers around me, you know, it feels very calming and relaxing, which I think is that what you want from that kind of summer perfume. Um, so it is Soki approved. It's a nice scent. It's well composed. Um, I wish it was a bit stronger, but I know that's what I should expect from a summer perfume. And if you're wondering, by the way, who Kevin Newbert is, they're a French artist. Um, so this obviously includes like his artwork on the bottle and the packaging. Cool, so guys, let me know what you think of this one. Do you like it? What's your favorite Load Izzy version? I do have other videos on the Load Izzy perfume, so I'll leave them linked down below. And of course, my articles on all of them. Um, but that's it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.